Okay, if you've spent any time in stores lately, you've likely heard Christmas music and seen all the decorations already up, but research suggests that that could be stressing you out at least a little bit. Bunny Sheets is with us. She's a clinical mm -hmm. nurse uh, specialist at IU Health. Good morning. Good morning. This is a stressful time of year. Let's just be honest. Yeah. I mean, we've got to spend a lot of money oftentimes on presents and then food and then you know everything else that goes along mm -hmm. with it so talk about what you're hearing in in the practice that you're at about uh, I guess the mental health this time of year well you know there's some people who really do enjoy Christmas and all that that brings but there's sometimes there's people who already suffer from depression and anxiety and this can be just totally overwhelming um, sometimes they uh, they overbook themselves, their expectations of what they're wanting for the holidays might not meet their expectations and so forth. Disappointment and yeah. and that they don't deal well with that. But sometimes if we just kind of work with our stress before sure. before the holidays, we can we can override some of that. Okay, we'll talk about more on taking care of yourself coming up in just a moment. Let's talk about this new research that came out recently that kind of suggested that that just the sound of Christmas music, especially for people who work in retail, is very, very stressful. Yeah, apparently uh, there was a study in Great Britain that suggested that it, it is stressful for the retail uh, workers. Um, but there has also been studies that suggest that it's a good marketing ploy to play. Sure. To play well, music. It, it gets, gets people to spend more money. Uh, yeah, it gets people to spend more money. And there was a study about uh, combining uh, music with scent, aroma, oh. and that keeps people lingering and therefore they're going to buy more. So, I mean, there are some strategies for why they think this would work well. But for poor retail workers, it's, they're yeah. kind of over it by... Christmas Eve. Well, you and I were talking even during the commercial break that that it's not just Christmas music. It's listening to anything it too much. It can be anything. Overexposure of any kind of music. You're, um, there was one researcher, a, a Dr. Williamson, that suggested that, you know, at first when you hear music, it sounds great. Yeah. And then if, it, once you play it over and over and over again, it's not so, it's not it's so not lovely. So yeah, yeah, it can be anything. It'd be the Beatles and you'd yeah. be overexposed. Yeah. Well, I mean, and it, and it goes to show too, I mean, we all make our own playlists, right? And after a couple of times listening through that playlist, you might be done with the playlist. You need to change it. But for retail workers, they can't necessarily change it. Yep. So you have suggestions for people how to take you care know, of themselves you, if they're overexposed. They may be stuck at work listening to Christmas music, but for, you know, when you're home, you can listen to whatever you want. You, you can take care of yourself. <laughs> but we were talking about sometimes really watch your expectations of what uh, you want out of the holiday season. Make sure you keep your structure, a good sleep. Yeah. You know, don't overindulge in the in the sweets and the alcohol, and you know, just basic taking care of yourself in whatever way that would be. Sure. On and your off hours. You know, and it's important to remind everybody of that because I think this is the time of year where we tend to think about how are we going to take care of other people, right? Mm -hmm, it's right. the holidays. So you gotta think of number one too. That's right. Bunny sheets. Yeah. Thank you so much, nurse practitioner yeah. uh, with the IU Health. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I